okay so uh, one more thing uh, we can do here is that we can add spinner instead of the field input and uh, this looks yeah it, it looks like this and it's uh, more suitable if you are looking from so for some uh, parametric study and you want to change values uh, with these uh, up and down arrows so um, the programming doesn't change much I'm going to delete this input 1 and I'm going to delete this input 2 as well and I'm going to add another spinner here so I'll, I'll just uh, name it or input one but oh sorry input one and uh, this one is uh, going to be our input two yeah all right so these are our two inputs now and uh, of course the things will change in the uh, program here um, but uh, yeah first let me let me change these these two here if the uh, um, a is uh, this time a is going to be this time app dot input one spinner dot value okay and similarly the b is going to be app dot input to spinner dot value so these are our two inputs now instead of the field input these are our inputs we'll take the values from here and uh, the rest is okay nothing has changed in the um, in the code here nothing is going to change so I'm going to just run this program and I'll just rise the value here and here and let's say I have selected subtraction addition and multiplication I, I can change them and you can see things are fine but the, the thing that uh, doesn't look good is that the value doesn't change when I raise or lower the value using these up and down arrows. This is, this is something very important and you need to learn because I have written the code inside the uh, callback function of this push button. So once this button is pushed, only and only then I'll get this uh, get a newer result. If you want to um, change your result upon clicking of the the up and down arrows, are we, we we can in other words we say upon change of values either here either here, then then we need to write uh, the same code inside the callback function of these inputs. So let let me show you what we are going to do. So I'm going to select this input one and I'm going to this coming to this callbacks and uh, you can see what it says it says add value change function so this means that when the uh, value is changed here in the input one and uh, the this particular callback function will be called okay so you can see that we have the push button callback here and a new uh, callback is uh, created here and that's when the input one of spinner is changed the value is changed okay so I'm just going to copy all this code and I'm going to paste it here okay so if you if you can see although the MATLAB uh, has created this one code line in which it uh, 
uh, it extracts the value of uh, input spinner input one spinner but uh, since I already have it I, I don't need it I'll just comment it out by uh, using this uh, person uh, the person sign okay so I can just run this program okay what it says so I'm getting uh, an error here which says that okay in end statement might be missing so um, this a switch statement ends with the keyboard end so that, that's what missing okay so now i can set a value here and now have a look as i change this value you can see the result is also changing if i switch to addition you can see the, the result is changing but since I have only uh, written it in inside the callback for the input 1 not the input 2 have a look nothing is changing as long as uh, I'm uh, yeah nothing is changing but if, if I press here it's going to change also if I'm going to pre uh, if I press this button the result is going to change but nothing will happen if I change the value here Okay.